Good, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is uh, Friday, it's Friday. Happy birthday to you, even if it's not your real birthday, because welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. You're alive, you're watching this. It's a good opportunity to celebrate. And that's what we do on our birthdays, isn't it? We celebrate. So happy birthday to you, because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life every day. I said that to somebody this morning on a, on a conversation. Um, uh, actually, it was on a, it was on a chat. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Guy in India. Anyway, thank you very much for your, for your comment on my other video, uh, which prompted me to say, every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life every day, um, which actually is kind of the thought behind uh, the every day is your birthday concept. Um, anyway, there you go. <laughs> so, mental alchemy is what we're talking about today. Um, and having the whole world pray for you. And we'll come on to both those subjects in a moment. But first of all, let's do a little um, breathing exercise. I'm wishing happy birthday to Kevin, Liam, Claudia, Carolina, uh, Carla and Julia. Um, so Kevin, I know very well. He's a, I think he's a world, world champion, not kickboxer, uh, taekwondo, I think, something like that. Um, anyway, big guy, big guy, same height as me. Um, <laughs> loves going out into the woods and uh, I think it's helping a lot of guys now uh, getting in touch with their inner something or other. Anyway, tell us more about that Kevin in the comments below, that'd be great. Uh, Liam, uh, Claudia, Carolina, uh, I don't know what you do. Carla I know is travelling the world after having met her at a, uh, an event in London. Um, I hope you're well Carla, it's nice to see you getting out and about all over the place wherever you are. <laughs> Despite the, the the COVID situation at the moment. And of course, Julia is the wife of, uh, well, ex-wife? I'm not sure what situation is there. Um, my good friend, um, Pete, from a long time ago. So uh, she's a doctor and runs, and runs a doctor's practice in uh, Ealing area-ish. So happy birthday to you, Julia. Hope you're well um, and hope life is treating you okay uh, in these COVID times. I guess you're injecting people like crazy right now, right? <laughs> Vaccinating people like crazy. Fantastic. Anyway, okay, good. Um, so, um, one candle. <sighs> Empty your lungs out. <sighs> Hand on heart. Think about one thing that you want to achieve, you want to um, get done either in the next hour if you're going to do this every hour or just today if you're going to do this every day with me. So, blow out the one candle. <sighs> Fill your lungs up. Five through the nose. <sighs> Hold five. I don't do that very well, do I? And then blow out the five candles on your cake. <sighs> While you're thinking about the thing that you want to achieve either in the next hour or the next day. <sighs> and feel, the, feel the, uh, the breath on your fingers as well. Really good if you're struggling with anxiety or panic attacks um, as well to get you out of your head. Um, get oxygen into your lungs, get oxygen into your brain so you can think more clearly. Um, the heart takes you out of your head a little bit and then fingers takes you out of the head a little bit even further. Um, and uh, yeah, and all the positive thinking then helps you to see the good in the world, the positivity, the things you want to achieve, um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, or if you really can't think of something you want to achieve, think back to a previous birthday that you've really enjoyed when you've been surrounded by people you've loved. Um, even if it feels like it's a sad thought, remember it as a positive, happy moment in your life. That'd be great. Um, and wish happy birthday to Kevin, Liam, Claudia, Carolina, Carla and Julia. So yeah, happy birthday. Right, okay, on to the main topic of the day. Um, uh, mental alchemy. Okay, so this came from one of the videos. I think it was the, um, I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, there's two videos anyway. Uh, one from a guy called, I think it was actually the one from uh, Robert Green. I don't know who Robert Green is. Um, clearly he's written a book called Seduction though, uh, but it's not about love seduction, although I'm sure there's bits of that in there. It's more about, um, I don't know, I can't, I'm not sure what the book is because I haven't read it, but uh, the way he was talking about it is more like how do you market to well to other people, how do you interact better with other people, how do you get people to understand your perspective. Um, it's about that dance between two people um, to understand how to communicate better with each other, which comes back to all the stuff that I talk about, which is understanding how you've become the person you've become, understanding how to love yourself, um, and therefore you'll understand other people better. So if you can understand why you get triggered and, and pushed and uh, convinced by marketing and so forth, you can kind of understand why other people uh, get convinced uh, in the, the way that they get convinced and ma manipulated and so forth. And therefore you can communicate better. Um, not necessarily to manipulate them, but to help them make decisions uh, that are helpful and more useful to them. Uh, I'm not great at that. Hello, Dave Blade Brown. Happy birthday to you because every day is your birthday after all. And uh, welcome to my, my live. I hope you're enjoying it. And the other viewer who I can't see who the other viewer is, but um, I hope it's not too windy. Um, so we're talking about mind, uh, mental alchemy, um, which is about 
uh, well, actually, we haven't talked about Milton Nuckham, we, have we? We talked about how we understand ourselves so that we can understand other people better, so we can have this dance, this seduction uh, a little bit better, which is the book that Robert Greene talks about um, in his video, which is linked below. Uh, by the way, Blink Blinkers Book of the Day, a uh, little story of economics, really fascinating and interesting story. I was talking to my friend Anna yesterday about capitalism versus, uh, I don't know, it wasn't in reverse as anything, but she lives in Hungary, so she comes from a background of socialism and communism. I mean, her country does at least anyway. Um, and so, at least I think so. I'm not quite 100% sure about that, but um, but you could, I, I felt like from the way she was talking that there was a very sort of, sort of, kind of underlying subconscious, unconscious, um, uh, uh, anti-capitalism thing going on um, in some of the questions that she was asking about whether capitalism was a good thing or not. Um, anyway, and uh, econ when you listen to the uh, the biggest book of the day today, it explains all that. It's really cool. Okay, back to the main topic. Um, uh, <laughs> mental alchemy. <laughs> yes. Loving each other, loving the other person. Uh, and this is actually, there's a beautiful example of it. I was trying to understand where Anna's coming from, where her perspective is, um, by recognising where I've come from in my background in capitalism, world at least anyway western world kind of thing um and trying to come together and having this little dance this little seduction between the two of us um of understanding each other's different perspectives um so yeah and then mal mental outcome comes into this which is when you see negative things in the world and this kind of ties into the same thing as well when you see somebody saying something negative or doing something negative or you're having something done to you which feels like it's negative or something the mental alchemy part of it uh, which is uh, alchemy is is known as the sort of turning lead into gold kind of concept um is to turn the negative the lead into a positive gold uh, finding the positive in all the negatives uh, finding the how is this teaching me what is this what am i learning from this experience how am i growing from this negative experience and all that kind of stuff so it's all about um, making sure that you're in control of your thoughts and you can think good morning latif by the way and john plank who came on here happy birthday to both of you because every day is your birthday if you celebrate life which we are doing today we are celebrating life we always celebrate life on this channel um I hope you're all well. Uh, of course, this is Facebook, so um, uh, if you're watching on Instagram and YouTube, you're just watching a recording of this. Um, and that's how it is. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll find a, a live platform uh, on a wider platform at some point in the future, but there you go. Anyway, um, there you go. That's that's basically mental alchemy. alchemy. Um, but the other thing that came out of the Lovability book today, which again slightly ties into this, which is connecting the world, connecting different people and so forth. Uh, the guy was talking about how we've gone on a retreat in um, Mount a Athos. Mount Athos. <laughs> I don't know where Mount Athos is. Um, but oh, shit. Oh, sorry about that. It's getting very windy. Uh, I do have uh, a thing holding the, the phone there, but obviously the wind was just a little bit too windy and it managed to blow the phone over anyway, even with my little grippy thing that's holding it in place. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Hopefully, it'll stay now. Um, <laughs> we will see. Yeah, it's looking good at the moment. Um, uh, he went to Mount Athos, that's right. Uh, Mount Athos, there we were, that's where we were. Um, uh, and he discovered that they, at, at this place, wherever this place is, uh, I must find out actually, um, it's uh, like a monk place type place. Um, and they hold, they have like in one of the, the, the abbeys or whatever it is, uh, they have a guy who organizes a continuous 24 7 prayer vigil for the world so there is somebody in there praying for the world 24 hours a day seven days a week um, and i just thought that was fascinating uh, and apparently this happens all over the world there are lots of places that do this sort of thing they have a uh, a person who's dedicated not a person who's dedicated but uh, a place that is dedicated uh, and there are there's a there's a, uh, a team of people i guess uh, who round the clock will pray for the world or put positive vibes out into the world um, uh, and I just thought that was lovely um, and of course we can all achieve this because we can all uh, add into this as well because we can all pray for the world we can have positive thoughts for the for the rest of the world and the rest of the people in the world um, if we choose to do so uh, the guy in the book was talking about how he, as a child he used to say a prayer for the world um, and he said god bless mum and dad god bless uh, all the children and all the animals god bless the trees and the flowers uh, and god bless the whole world or something like that it was one of his little things he did before he went to bed every night um, and that's kind of cool Even, whether you believe in god or not it doesn't matter but you could also just say 
bless my parents. It's kind of like a gratitude thing, isn't it, in that respect? Um, bless my parents, bless my, the children in the world, bless the, the, the bird flying in the tree over there, <laughs> bless the trees around me. Um, yeah, all that sort of stuff. You could do that uh, if you wanted to. Um, and just have these positive gratitude thoughts about the world and push it out into the world. Um, and that reminded me of a, uh, a little session I did with an Australian lady that's really annoying that I can't remember who she is because I would love to be able to give her some credit here. Um, by the way, if you are watching this and you know who this person is, please let me know. Um, she has a child, she's a single mum, I think she's a single mum anyway, living in Australia somewhere. Um, and, uh, and she did an exercise with me. Um, and basically part of that exercise, I can't remember the exact details of it because it was quite a while ago, it was a few, few years ago. Um, and basically what we did, we started inside me and I kind of imagined this little sort of ball of light inside me. Um, and then we expanded the ball of light um, so that we touched uh, the, the room that I was in. Um, and, and just kind of imagine filling the room with this little ball of light inside me. Um, and then we felt that little ball of light going out to the, the community around me uh, and the, the people who live in the street that I live in, and then into the village, uh, the, the town that I live in, out into the town and all the people in the town that I live in, uh, and then out into the, the country. So the whole of England um, was involved in this whole thing, uh, and then the whole of the UK, and then the whole of Europe, and then the whole of the world and there's just like this whole massive like, expansion feeling came out of me and it was just like this massive being connected to and it wasn't and the, the, i think the key to it was it wasn't just like the whole world it was all the people in the world it's being connected to my mum and dad in the house and um being connected to the neighbors and connected to the people i see who come into the park there's a guy over there walking his dog for example people i see on a regular basis and then the people who i don't know who also live in this town who i haven't met yet and then um all the people i've met in the in the in the uk and uh, yeah, when i look at this and I look at the people who are watching me now somebody's watching me I don't know but I often have uh, people from there's a guy from from Tibet who watches me and a, and, a, and a lady from Vietnam who watches me I have people from Australia and from Florida and Kentucky and <laughs> um, Los Angeles um, all watching this video that I do every day um, at different times and so forth so hello to all of you people uh, give me a hashtag replay by the guys by the way guys say make a comment that'd be lovely um, and it was just that connection of feeling that connection to all these people as it grew out from me um, bigger and bigger and bigger and it was the moment when I kind of realized how much of an impact I could have on the world if I could just get out there a little bit more and then one of the other things that um, Evan Carmichael said in his video this morning which was be genuine be honest be open with people and people will connect to that and I've tried to do that as much as I can on on this um, on this video of course there's always some things that you want to keep properly private um, but something I mentioned a couple of days ago or maybe yesterday which was trying to find paying clients that I can help uh, I want to help more people um, uh, I want to I want to be out there and I want to I want to, I want to make make more of a difference to to the world out there uh, but I'm really struggling with uh, marketing and getting my message out there and then finding people who want to pay me to to give me enough money so I can help other people um, uh, so that I can help them I mean I want to look I want to find people who are willing to pay and have got money um, who want help with their mental health who want to feel like they're in control of their thoughts and their emotions um, but have a bit of money and want to learn how to do that better and easier um, I want to find people who are struggling with depression and anxiety who have money who would, would like to not have depression and anxiety so if you know anybody like that um, please put them in touch um, I'm not going to charge a huge amount of money um, uh, but if they want to give me that, yeah, it's like it's almost like it's almost like I'm in a situation right now where it's like, um, tell me what you need help with. Uh, yeah, so in fact, yes, do tell me what you need help with in the comments below or private message me, um, and let's try and work out how I can help you. Um, <laughs> hopefully not for free because that's the problem. I've been helping a lot of people for free for a long, long time, um, and there's only so long you can keep doing that, isn't there? So that's my honesty. That's my brutal honesty. Um, I want to help more people not have... My mission in life is to stop people from struggling with depression and anxiety or being on um, prescription medication for too long. You don't need to be on for too long. It's a short-term fix. Um, uh, short-term help it's a, like a crutch it's like putting a plaster on your leg and then eventually your leg gets better and then you can walk on it and then you can run and then you can get better um, and that's what I want to teach people how to do that good morning Karen by the way um, so yeah um, there you go that's my 15 minutes <laughs> I still try I thought I was going to do this one under 10 minutes I'm really trying to get them back under 10 minutes again but um, yeah. um, we're getting there but sometimes the message is more important than um, social media right yeah exactly cool right uh, i'm getting cold i need to get home and i will see you all tomorrow take care love you all Mwah. send love out into the world as well be lovely to your fellow human beings and listen to that little thing where you 
uh, inside you where you, you grow this little bit of light inside you and you grow out into the community and the people around you and the rest of the world. Send that love out into the world uh, and, uh, and make it a better place. Remember, every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life. Uh, why, wait, why wait to start living a life you love? Why not start today? Take care, guys. Bye for now.